is time for another collections video. This one is going to be concealers and setting powders. I decided to combine the two because I don't have that many setting powders. Um, I really only have one, two, three, four. I don't really feel the need to have that many because I like all of these. Um, I have quite a few concealers. I must go have some color corrected concealers in this one. But I hope you guys are enjoying this collection and let's get started. First off, we'll start off with our setting powders. This is my absolute favorite setting powder of all times, and it is the RCMA Color Correcting. Not RCMA. Color Correcting. This is the RCMA No Color Powder. This powder is so finely milled, I can actually bake underneath my eyes with it. I have really fine lines under my eyes, um, partially in the summer and spring. I have really bad allergies, so I get kind of baggy areas under my eyes. They get really puffy. So I cannot bake underneath my eyes whatsoever because of the way it gets. You can really see the fine lines. But with this powder, I can because it is so finely milled. And it is so inexpensive for this big size, which will take me forever to go through, even using it every day. Um, I think was $10. So it is an amazing product. You can use it all over your face if you want to to set. Um, but I usually use my MAC Studio Fix, which is my next favorite um, powder to set with. But for under my eyes, this is my absolute favorite um, and it is no color so it doesn't add any color to any of your products so it is definitely my favorite go pick it up if you don't have it it is inexpensive and I've heard I've never had tried the Lori I can't say it Lori Mercier powder but this I've heard is just as good I've never tried it so I can't say yay or nay but I've heard it is go get it then my next favorite, this is for my all over my face, is the MAC Studio Fix Powder. Um, I am currently in the shade NW18. I use this every day. I use it as a foundation. I use it as a setting powder all over my face. Um, I love this powder. It is full coverage for me um, with no foundation or I can use it with like a big fluffy brush for just like kind of a sheer um, setting powder but I use this stuff all the time. I think it's around $30 um, and I've had it for a couple months now and I just, I love it. It's absolutely amazing and you can see how long it will last because I haven't even hit the bottom yet and it's still fully there. So yeah amazing product, no issues whatsoever, last all day, absolutely love this stuff. My other favorite under eye powder is the Ben Nye Luxury Powder and this is in Cameo. This is another pretty inexpensive um, setting powder. For this big size, I believe it's around $10 as well. Um, this is not as finely milled as the No Color Powder, but it's pretty close um, and there is some color to this as well, so it will change a little bit of the color. Um, I like the packaging on this one better just because it has a bigger sift so it's easier to get to whereas with the no color powder I have to kind of take the lid off and dip my brush down into it so it's harder to get to but for the product I'll deal with it um, but I like this product for setting my eyes as well I will say though since I've had the no color powder that's all I use um, but this was definitely my sec second favorite then I also have the Maybelline New York um, Fit Me Powder. I use this um, kind of like I use my MAC Studio Fix all over my face. I don't like it as well. Um, it's kind of a backup that I have, um, more of just my drugstore version. Um, it's not my favorite, but I do have it to use if I need it. Another, um, this is a banana powder that I have. I got in a boxy charm. It is the Ofra Cosmetics um, banana powder. I actually really like this powder more than I thought I was going to, just because it's so yellow. I didn't think it would work with my skin color, um, but it actually does, and it really works to help brighten up that under eye area. And I actually really like it. It's very soft and creamy. And for the summer, I think it will be the perfect shade. Then moving on to concealers, I have the MAC Select Cover Up Concealer, and this is in the shade NC20. It is a little dark for me right now. Um, I can use it as a normal concealer, but not as a highlight. Um, I really like the coverage on this. It is um, not tacky. I like it. 
Um, a lot like I like, you can tell this has been used, my IT Cosmetics, but I like it better because I feel like this is really, really tacky, whereas this is not. I feel like they are very comparable, but this is super tacky, so it really falls into my fine lines and this is not tacky so it doesn't. So this is definitely um, my favorite out of the two um, but for highlighting right now it's a little bit too dark so I haven't been using it so I'm waiting till the summer to really really use this product but I love it so far. Right now my go-to um, is my NYX Ultra HD sorry it's not ultra my NYX HD concealer um, this is the perfect highlighting shade for under my eyes right now so it's what I've been using um, this is my second tube of it that I've gone through in the last couple months and it's super inexpensive it's like five bucks to ultra ultra um, ultra bleh. and it is in this shade in or C W one and that I believe is porcelain um, but I love this for under the eyes concealer as well as highlighter. I also have two color correcting in the NYX HD um, concealers and they are in CW11 and this is opened it just still has the plastic on it I just twisted it off and CW10 this is more yellow and this is the purple for the color correcting um, I've used this one a lot more as you can tell because the color is coming off then I have this just because I don't have a lot of redness um, whereas I get kind of darker um, color and under my eyes so I've used this one a lot more to help brighten it up. I also have the Benefit Fake Up. This used to be my go-to um, but not so much anymore. I am almost out of this. I actually need to throw it away because there's really nothing left there. That's it. Is that a little tip? Um, so actually this is going to get thrown away. This is my third tube of this that I've ever had. I really used to like this product and then I think I just found better ones. Um, but this was in the shade medium. Um, this had a lot, I think, of vitamin E in it so it would help moisturize and everything. I didn't end up liking the coverage of this. I needed something with more coverage and that's why I traded in for something different. Okay, then I have a drugstore product. This is the Maybelline a Instant Age Rewind. Um, I actually really like this for a drugstore concealer. And this is in Neutralizer. Um, it works for a highlight when I'm a little bit darker in the summer. Right now it would be more of just a con um, concealer. Um, I really do like this product as well. Um, but definitely I think the NYX for drugstore is definitely more of my favorite. Then I have the e.l.f. Um, concealer and highlight that I bought for a um, e.l.f. face tutorial. Um, I do like this product. I have never really used it again. It wasn't bad. I didn't really notice it creasing or anything. I don't know why I haven't used it. I think I just always grab for my NYX product. Um, but I actually do like this and I need to use it. Uh, I think it was just on the bottom and I forgot about it until now. Um, but I think it was around 2 or $3. Um, most e.l.f. products are. And yeah, it worked actually pretty well. And um, I didn't notice any creasing or anything like that. So I will actually have to give it another try. Then another one of my favorite favorite then another one of my favorite concealers is my LC on camera special treatment concealer. This one is very creamy and I've almost used all of it. Um, I got this off of one of those shopping websites that they have on TV and I can't remember what it is, which one it is. Um, but I got it with actually an under eye cream and this came with it for free. And I actually hated the the cream and love the concealer, which is not why I was purchasing the item. Um, but this concealer is very creamy, so it doesn't set. And I love the way that it applies. And um, it's not much of a highlight, but it's definitely a concealer. So I would have to use another highlight with it. But I definitely love this product as well, and it's one of my top favorites. I hope you guys have enjoyed another one of these collections video, and I will see you next time. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed, and don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like these. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.